Hey yogis and yoga enthusiasts, welcome to our channel, Yoga at the Wellness Nook, and to our series on yoga vocabulary, um, where we're going to go over different words that you hear in a yoga class outside of the asan that you probably have no idea what they're talking about. And today our word is bandhas. Um, you will probably hear like hasta bandha, engage your mula bandha, you know, all these different things. We have five different bandhas in our body. Um, I'm actually going to make separate videos for each one instead of having this be a long video. Keep things short and sweet. Just try to keep it, you know, a little bit not as wordy since I'm just ranting. Anyway, to <laughs> save for my ranting, back to bandhas. Bandhas are, it literally translates to either lock or harness. Um, I would say think of it more on the lock end. It's more like a lock of your muscles and of your energy. But it's kind of like, it, it's not just a lock because it also is a place where you're kind of helping, it helps you pull up energy into your body um, and pull energy in your body up you know, as we like to have our, you know, the ascending energy. So, bandhas are the place of where you would kind of, I guess, grip is another good word to kind of describe what you're doing. Um, it's a gripping and a pulling up. Um, because the pulling up of your muscles, because your muscles are pulling, oh, not always, but mostly, pulling up and definitely always locking the energy. So for example, there's one of your bandhas is kind of like your pelvis area, thinking about it pulls the energy up and locks it so it's not gonna keep going down and out your legs and into the world. Um, there's a, a bandha in your feet and that's gonna help pull the energy up into your body, but hold it there so it's not gonna go past your feet back into the earth, but keep sending that energy up to your pelvis, your diaphragm and kind of help you hold the energy within um, at your throat you tend to lock it down so it's kind of like that's what this kind of helps keep locking and holding that energy in your body so that's what your teachers mean when they say engage your bandhas your bandhas there are five of them there are specific parts of your body which we'll go over in the other videos basically is engaging these specific locks or harnesses within your body to lock your energy in and help pull it up and yeah kind of get it through get it going it helps uh it has a lot your bundas have energetic benefits obviously in that pulling energy up but it also really does help in your anatomy your muscular structure because it helps bring more support into your not just your spine, but your internal bundles. You have three that are like your internal bundles, and they support essentially your spine and help you keep that energy up and keep your energy stable and keep your body stable. And so there's so much benefit to having an energetic, stable body, and your bundles really do help you engage that, especially when you're doing different asanas, standing postures, balancing postures, and inversions. So yeah, if you like that video, please give me a thumbs up. Any questions, again, I'm going to get deep, delve deeper into each bandha in their own specific video. So make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when I post those videos. And leave comments, questions, thumbs ups. Leave some love. Everyone loves it. <laughs> if you don't have love, you don't need to leave anger. <laughs> Just leave the video, move to another one. Um, anyway, I will see you next time. Thank you for joining me today and yeah.